Okay, today I want to talk about environmental variables when working with a node web server. Now I did a previous video where I talked about the debug library that you could or module that you could bring in and use. So instead of writing console.log, I can use debug. And then it's only if I add that to the command line. So if I open up my terminal here, if I'm going to run this server, we do node env server.js and it's running, it's listening on that port. But if we add in front of that debug equals, and then the thing that I put here, app, and then I write my node env server.js. Now what's happening is when a request comes in, these debug commands will actually write something out. So if I open up another terminal here, and let's just do a simple curl localhost and we're on port 3000 there we go so you can see my debug statements actually wrote something out because i wrote debug equals app in front of this now this is an environmental variable so i want to look at how that works and how we can use our own environmental variables when running a server so let's clear these terminals out close that down command c to or a control c to shut down the server okay now what I want to do is I want to listen for an, envir an environmental variable that's going to tell me, am I running my server as a production server or as a development server? So we're going to listen for an env, env variable called node env. Now this isn't a special name. This is just, it's sort of a common practice. A lot of people will use this variable name to set up what kind of environmental variable, uh, what kind of development environment they're in. So we can set that equal to say development or we're going to set it to production. One of those things. Now to use this I would run my program and I would do something like this node env equals development and then node same as normal env server.js. There we go. Now my program ran no problem, it's listening on port 3000. And what I've done is I've created a variable called node env, and I've set this value to that variable. And that's available to me in my program. I just have to know where I can get those values from. So I'll shut that down again. Where they're going to exist, let's create a variable called env. We're gonna save it inside of there. So we're gonna check for process.env dot and then the name of the variable. So this is built right into Node. There's a module called process. Inside of that, there's a module called env, and this stores any variables that you pass in like this. So if that exists, then I'm going to set the value of process.env dot node env into this variable. Otherwise, I'm going to set it to the default, which I'm going to call development. Okay, I've created an environmental variable, and I'm using it inside my program. I've stored it inside of env, and I can use that anywhere in my code here. So let's say that I'm going to change which port I'm listening on based on the value of that variable. So I'll create another variable called port, and we're going to say if env equals development, then the port number we're going to use is 3000, otherwise we'll say 5000. So these are my port numbers that I'm going to use. Oh, that's sorry, that should be a question mark there. If this variable is set to this, use 3000, otherwise put 5000 inside of here, and then this variable we're going to use down here. So I'm going to listen on port, and then I'm going to say, hey, you know what, I'm listening on that number and we'll say listening for and we'll write out what our environmental variable is and the port number that we're using so I'll save that and we'll see we've got it set for development we're going to run it listening for development on port 3000 okay so now I can run this and we can say curl localhost oh, HTTP localhost and we're making the request on port 3000 
There we go. I got a response back. Great. So that worked, but I didn't have anything written out here. Now that I'm doing this ENV, node ENV right here, I'm no longer using my debug. So how can I do both of them? Well, quite simply, let's clear it out. We just list them both. So I'm going to close that one just for a moment. There we go. So we say node ENV equals, oh, well, let's do another one. Let's do production. So we get a different port number and debug equals the thing that we wrote up here. Ah, there we go. Now I've created two environmental variables. I've assigned a value to each one of them. And now I just add my node command onto the end node env server.js. There it is listening for production on port 5000. And if I come in here and we do our curl command, HTTP localhost, and this time we have to use 5000. And there we are. There's my response coming back. And there's all the debug messages because I passed in both environmental variables. So that's it. Just remember that you've got access to process.env and that gives you access to all the environmental variables. And that's how this debug app is working in the background too. It's just looking for this variable called debug and then looking for the right value. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.